August uh, the 7th, 2017. Uh, I've been working a little bit yesterday, did some jobs here and there. Didn't film them uh, because filming and working is a longer process. Uh, I, well, the thing I did yesterday is I put some of the doors. Let me see. There you go. I did put some of the doors on uh, just to see some form of progress. And uh, well, I'm quite happy. It's starting to look like a RV. So, last time I was gluing that panel and uh, there was a big board going up there. I was so, so impressed when I removed the board that uh, to see that um, the holes there, I just added some putty uh, for uh, cosmetics when I'll sand it up, but the holes were filled with epoxy. It was like a, a glass window. That meant when I pushed on it, the epoxy tried to get out of this hole, couldn't do it because uh, the, the board was there with plastic. So it stays there and filled this thing and went back up to this one and the next one. So this is very strong, very strong. I'm very impressed with the composite the system. It works like a charm. So I'm not uh, finished uh, installing those. Had a big problem because uh, I used stainless steel screws because the owner uh, didn't keep the old ones saying he said that uh, some of the rules uh, screws started to rust so I was better off putting new ones but stainless steel is a little bit tricky to install because the minute they jam you eat up the damn thing so I don't know what I'll have to do maybe I'll have to cut this through the, those, those screws and drill and push install some just beside them but because they're stuck on the thread now <laughs> anyway so i have to finish installing the trim correctly make sure that the buell tape is all around uh, it stays soft so it not so bad and uh, when i installed that i said am i going too fast probably but there's a place i'm not a hundred percent satisfied with my seal you know the water probably got in here pooled in there except for the corner there we know it was coming from upstairs uh, upstairs somewhere but you know here like if you look at here it's a little bit brittle so that's why I didn't start install that I, I want to fix that first I want to seal everything down there from behind but um, there's the fiberglass coming here and the, the wood is right under it. So water could still find a way inside there. I don't know, pool around the, the door uh, and slightly maybe get in back to through the wood. So what I'm gonna do is Well, sorry, the door. <laughs> See the wood here? That's the wood. Oops, that's some of the stuff I added yesterday to make sure I fill the wood. I'm gonna shoot that with um, the same thing I shoot here, which is the uh, undercoating. I'm just gonna layer, shoot a layer here, tape on both sides and try to finish sealing the wood just for added protection yeah see it's not that's gonna be easy to do and uh, not expensive since uh, I still have uh, my can left so let's finish trying to roar work around those damn screws make sure everything is laying flat Yesterday my drill battery died, it was getting dark, so I gave up installing those 
last night but I'm gonna start right away Almost done. There's no magic to it, you just push and clamp on place. Go inch by inch and come back when you see unevenness. It will eventually I have to remove that, but I'm gonna scrape everything later. I'm pretty sure it's water type here, but I'm just feeding a little bit of buell tape in the joints let's continue I want to seal that thing here. I'll have to wait before I close the doors just in case it sticks. Okay, it's ready. Well, now that uh, everything is started to look good, it's time to make it ugly again using the finishing putty fill all the small gaps and all the stuff what I missed there whoa what happened well I need to stop for lunch and to go buy more uh, finishing putty. Uh, yeah, this stuff is wonderful. It's applying very wet when you goes fast and goes well, but you got about three, four, five seconds to apply it. Uh, if you touch it after that, you're gonna do a mess of job. But if you use it when it's very wet, just fresh out of the tube, it goes very good. Uh, you see there's a lot over there that's because uh, the, most of the work was done you know with the prying bars and stuff and I was a bit over aggressive with my sandpaper so there was a lot of uh, scarring marks and stuff that I now made hopefully disappear I still have to work around there and of course on the corner there So, oh, what did you miss? Well, you miss uh, two hours, a little more maybe, of sanding. Oof, a lot of work. Uh, I'm gonna stop there for today. Exhausted. And I still need a little finished putty over there.